I started Kanban Solutions in my apartment with one, one other person. I could never have imagined that it would grow to the size it is. We are located right in the middle of everything, right in Manhattan. It's just a great place to uh, be running a business. I started Kanban Solutions to be an engineering focused company. Uh, Kanban has an excellence in engineering. That is our main focus, that is the, the driver of this company, and that is what has allowed us to be uh, as successful as we are. The folks that we try to uh, recruit and hire have great foundational engineering skills. They have computer science degrees, they have great experience, they've, they've worked with the latest technologies, they fundamentally uh, understand the, the sort of space that we're in. We're an established company, we've been around for a while, um, but we're still small, so we kind of got a mix of like kind of the startup and, you know, kind of the established agency kind of feel. What attracted me to Kanban at first was that they were a uh, small and rather focused company. They were very focused on solving the engineering problems, very engineering oriented and very passionate. Everyone is just so kind of unique and, and different but it all works together really well. The key thing is, is to be creative, be a problem solver, uh, and really be passionate about making, making life, the life of our clients better. We're definitely classified as nerdy or geeky type of people. We really do have a culture of excellence at Kanban. A lot, a lot of code that we write, we write with the intention that it's gonna be used for our clients over the long haul. We're not writing things as one-off. We wanna write great solutions because more often than not, our clients are coming back to us and we're gonna to have to maintain or modify the code we write. And, and that's one thing that I'm incredibly proud of is that our clients keep coming back. They're also really big on professional development. They send people out to different conferences. They encourage you to go out to meetups and different events. Helps the developers keep up with the latest technologies. And it's, it's amazing to me to see all these developers get together and just you know, come up with these really innovative solutions. In these conferences, you learn about the technology that you, you'll use at work, so that else, it's a benefit for the person, it's a benefit for the company as well. As much as you think you know, there's always more that you don't know, so I'm continuously learning. It's not just what, what do we want for our team, but what do they want? What are they excited about? What, what technologies are they passionate about? And as long as we see some alignment between that and the type of work we do, we're very excited to support them through uh, attending conferences or getting training or being able to actually acquire some of these technologies uh, really helps in, in us making sure that our developers and, and architects and all of our staff have the tools they need to be successful and are happy. From a career development perspective, I'm passionate about continuous learning, about, uh, about making mistakes and learning from them. There's no one that's just kind of hanging back, holding everything back. There's no one that's, that's, that's keeping us from accomplishing our goal. Everyone is really focused and right there with you. One tradition we started at Kanban a while back is every time we launch a new product for a client, we have uh, scotch. It's a great activity that we do and everybody's really excited that a, a product is launched and it's the, end of, it's the end of one chapter and the beginning of the next. You sort of have this mix of having fun but yet also needing to take time to solve some really complex problems. Sometimes we're having a great time, we're celebrating, grabbing some scotch and, and making sure that we all celebrate in, in our own and our clients' successes. Yet at the same time, there are times here when it's quiet, really quiet. It's because we're, we're thinking, you know, our engineers are, are solving complex problems and, and uh, you can hear a pin drop and that's okay. The culture is generally just, you know, it's laid back, um, it's hardworking. But the people here are really outgoing, they're friendly, they're easy to work with. Uh, and they've, we've worked really hard to build the right culture. We get together outside of work sometimes and we'll sit and talk engineering. I don't think I've ever had more fun at a job as I've had at Kanban. One of the perks at Kanban is Friday morning breakfasts. And it's more than just bagels and pastries. It's, it's an opportunity for you know, everybody to kind of get together and talk about their week talk about some of the problems that they've solved, and really just kind of continue to get to know each other. There's a combination of, of creative problem solving, um, attention to detail, uh, humor, um, quirkiness in some ways um, that, that permeates everything that we do. I, I would have to say that I've never worked anywhere quite, you know, like this before. There's nowhere else quite like Kanban. At the end of the day, it's 
the people and the engineers and their commitment to excellence that makes Kanban successful.